Hello curls, it's Yolanda Renee and today we're going to be doing this amazing afro puff tutorial and I started this off by using my Q Reduce steamer to steam my hair and then I sealed in all that goodness with coconut oil. Once my hair was super moisturized and detangled, I then took down all those twists that I worked so hard to put in. As you can see, my hair looks super moisturized because it is, thanks to the Q Reduce steamer. I absolutely love this tool. And you can click here to see that demo and review. With a rat tail comb, you can make a center part, which is super easy if you start from the center and go forward, and then from the center and go to the back of your head. Tie down one section to get it out of your way, and now get your Eco Styler Gel. We're going to be using this with a toothbrush to really lay down our edges, because we want the ponytail to look really sleek and let all the craziness happen in the Afro Puff. Once you take control of your edges with the Eco Styler Gel and the toothbrush, you can then use the palm of your hand to really smooth the hair down and to tighten it into a ponytail. So grab all the hair nice and gently and smooth it down so it can be a very nice sleek ponytail. And then you're going to use a goodie hair band. If it's huge like mine, you may have to wrap it a few times um, and then secure it into your hair as a ponytail. Once your puffs are secured, this is when you can go back in with your toothbrush and Eco Styler Gel because it will be easier to really make sure that your edges are perfect and sleek how you want them to be. And after that, you're pretty much done. I hope you guys enjoyed this very quick tutorial and I hope you didn't mind my voiceover. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. Mwah.